What's up everyone and welcome. In this episode, we're going to talk about new Bluetooth vulnerabilities dubbed Bracktooth. These vulnerabilities potentially affect billions of devices around the world. Vendors include Intel, Texas Instruments, Qualcomm, among others. Oh, drat these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. Researchers have disclosed a group of 16 different vulnerabilities collectively dubbed Bracktooth, which impact billions of devices that rely on Bluetooth Classic for communication. According to an academic paper from the University of Singapore, the bugs are found in the closed commercial BT stack used by at least 1400 embedded chip components that can lead to a host of attack types, mainly denial of service via firmware crashes. One of the bugs can also lead to arbitrary code execution. The team analyzed 13 pieces of BT hardware from 11 vendors. So far, there have been 20 CVEs assigned across them, with four vulnerabilities pending CVE assignments from Intel and Qualcomm. Some of the bugs are patched, others are in the process of being patched, but researchers said in the paper it's highly probable that many other products beyond the 1400 entries are affected by Bracktooth, including BT system on chips, BT modules, or additional BT end products. This you'll love, the very latest in automatic contour type shares. Try it. Comfy? Why, yes, it is. <laughs> First, the relaxer. Presto. <laughs> Potentially, billions of devices around the world are affected or could be affected. And that is just insane. So far, the list of companies affected include Intel, Texas Instruments, Cypress, Bluetrum Technology, Zuhai Zhili Technology, Actions Technology, Qualcomm, Espressive Systems, Harman International, and Scilabs. But the list is most likely going to grow. The researchers uncovered three main attack scenarios for the bugs, the most severe of which results in arbitrary code execution on Internet of Things devices. The most critical vulnerability with CVE-2021-28139 affects ESP32 SOCs, a series of low-cost, low-power SoC microcontrollers with integrated Wi-Fi and dual-mode Bluetooth from the vendor Espressif. These are commonly found in IoT appliances used in industry automation, smart home devices, personal fitness gadgets, and more. A lack of out-of-bounds check in ESP32 BT library allows the reception of mutated LMP feature response extension, according to the paper. This results in the injection of eight bytes of arbitrary data outside the bounds of the extended feature page table. To exploit it, an attacker who knows the firmware layout of the target device can write a known function address to the offset pointed by features page field. Researchers successfully forced ESP32 into erasing data housed in devices non-volatile random access memory, which retains data without applied power. They were also able to disable both BT and Wi-Fi on the device, and most concerningly, control the general purpose input output of the device if the attacker knows addresses to attached functions controlled actuators. GPIO is used to communicate the on-off signals received from connected switches or the digital readings received from the connected sensors to the CPU. This has serious implications if such an attack is applied to Bluetooth-enabled smart home products, researchers warned. Now this is the main control panel. Now suppose the walls are filthy dirty. Watch. <laughs> The second attack scenario can lead to denial of service in laptops and smartphones. Researchers were able to achieve this using gear containing Intel AX200 SOCs and Qualcomm WCN3990 SOCs. One of the DOS bugs, <coughs> CVE-2021-34147, exists because of a failure in the SOC to free resources upon receiving an invalid LMP timing accuracy response from a connected BT device. In other words, a slave, according to the paper. The attacker can exhaust the SOC by paging, sending the malformed packet, and disconnecting without sending LMP detached, researchers wrote. These steps are repeated with a different BT address until the SOC is exhausted from accepting new connections. On exhaustion, the SOC fails to recover itself and disrupts current act active connections, triggering firmware crashes sporadically. The researchers were able to forcibly disconnect slave BT uh, devices from Windows and Linux laptops and cause BT headset disruptions in Pocophone F1 and Oppo Reno 5G smartphones. 
I think I'll push this wet one. No, 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 not the wet one. Don't ever push the wet one. Well, I'll push this one then. Another denial of service bug, uh, the CVE is pending, affects only devices using the Intel AC200 SOC. <clears throat> it's triggered when an oversized LMP timing accuracy request, uh, uh, larger than 17 bytes, is sent to an AX200 slave. This temporarily corrupts AX200 firmware, which responds incorrectly during a subsequent BT connection and eventually disables the paging scan procedure. Researchers explain, thus, scanning AC2, uh, AX200 works, but no connection is established from an external BT uh, device. Aside from disconnecting master BT devices connected to a vulnerable laptop and leading to sporadic BT firmware crashes, this state of affairs can also be used for man-in-the-middle attacks. Bad actors can easily trick a user into connecting to the attacker's BT hardware instead of the legitimate device, researchers noted, with persistence. Indeed, the user needs to manually re-enable BT to restore functionality, they said, adding, due to the number of smartphones and laptops vulnerable to such attacks and the common use of BT connectivity during video conference calls and music streaming, updating the affected devices is essential. A third attack scenario was discovered while probing various BT speakers, specifically the My Portable Bluetooth Speaker, MDT 36DB, BT Headphone and BT Auto Modules, and an unbranded BT Audio Receiver. All are variously subject, subject to a series of bugs. CV 2021-31609 and CV 2021-31612 failures when sending oversized LMP packets. CV 2021-31613 uh, truncated packets. CV 2021-31611 20, starting procedures out of order. And CV 2021-28135. CV 2021-31613. Uh, 28155 and CVE 2021 31717, which is feature response flooding. Successful exploits can freeze devices, requiring the user to manually turn on unresponsive devices afterwards. For the Xiaomi MDZ uh, 36 DBS and JBL Tune 500 BTS, this can be done while the user is actively playing music, researchers noted. Although issues were found in SOCs targeted uh, to audio products, the BT implementation can be reused in a number of SOCs destined to uh, different BT products. So it's not these, these, these vulnerabilities that they tested on the audio products are not limited to only audio products. They could be used in other products. Uh, product. These are just a few exploit scenarios. The researchers have released a Bracktooth proof of concept tool for vendors producing BT socks, modules, and products available for them to use to check their gear's vulnerability. Bluetooth vulnerabilities are particularly concerning given the vast pr footprint that they uh, can impact, and unfortunately, they are not that uncommon. So again, billions of devices around the world can be infected uh, with denial of service, and arbitrary code execution attacks through uh, these vulnerabilities that were listed within this article. With that, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't, and press the bell if you haven't, and I will see you in the next episode. Take care.